Rooting for athletes who start from nothing and go on to achieve fame and fortune is practically an American pastime. But not all sports stars started from the bottom. Some athletes were born already living the good life. Destined to be a career backup until his Super Bowl run with the Philadelphia Eagles, Nick Foles scored a hefty contract in 2018. But despite his $88 million signing deal with the Jaguars in 2019, with earnings widely anticipated to reach upwards of $102 million according to the franchise, the Super Bowl MVP quarterback wasn't always the most loaded person in his family. Do you wake up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror and go, hey there, Super Bowl champ? <laughs> I don't, I you don't. Know? Nick's dad, Larry Foles, founder and owner of Eddie B's Restaurants, Inc., sold his company in 2011 for a whopping $59 million, per the Phoenix Business Journal. But while Nick may have grown up the kid of a self-made millionaire, Foles' dad says his son still got his feet on the ground, telling the Philadelphia Daily News, he's one of the most earnest, humble, good people in the world. Growing up in the shadow of your successful parents can be tough for some, but it's next level when your dad's arguably the greatest boxer of all time. Layla Ali, daughter of Muhammad Ali, was born three years after her father's legendary Rumble in the Jungle heavyweight championship match against a young George Foreman. Muhammad Ali's net worth was estimated to be $80 million before his death in 2016. He treated everybody with kindness and love and respect, and uh, that was instilled in me just by watching him. Layla became a boxer in her own right, retiring with a 24-0 record, including 21 knockouts in 2007. Per biography, Ali received the title of Super Middleweight Championship in 2002 and the International Women's Boxing Federation's light heavyweight title in 2004. Ali went on to become a TV personality and secure a net worth of $10 million. If you're a college basketball fan, you've heard the phrase, anybody but Duke. The university is notoriously hated by fans for what appears to be a sense of league superiority. But while the majority of Duke's most loathed players come from poor or middle-class backgrounds, fan favorite Grant Hill did not. Quite honestly, most of my friends didn't have fathers who were professional athletes. A lot of my friends didn't even have relationships with their fathers. Grant's father, Calvin Hill, was an all-pro player for the Dallas Cowboys. His mother, Janet Hill, is a successful attorney and a former classmate of Hillary Clinton from Wellesley College. But although Grant grew up around fame and wealth, it made him uncomfortable. He told Sporting News, I didn't want anybody, especially my friends, thinking I was better than them. I just wanted to be a down-to-earth guy and have my own identity. I didn't like unwanted attention and so forth, and you know, I just wanted to be liked and to be known for me. Known as the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt racked up seven titles and 76 cup wins before his untimely death in 2001. Considered one of the greatest race car drivers of all time, Earnhardt amassed over $30 million over the course of his career, and he left behind a $70 million estate to his children. Though he grew up rich, Earnhardt's youngest son, Dale Earnhardt Jr., went on to become one of the richest and most popular NASCAR drivers in history on his own merit. Dale Jr. retired in 2017 after nearly 20 years behind the wheel, walking away with an estimated net worth of $400 million. Well, I, you know, I want to be a race car driver someday. It's a great sport. You know, it's all I've ever known. Zara Tyndall is the only daughter of Princess Anne and the second eldest grandchild of Queen Elizabeth II. Needless to say, she was born filthy rich. She's also an Olympic medalist, having taken home the silver as part of the British equestrian team at the 2012 Games in London. The whole Olympic experience, I can't tell you, like, it gives me goosebumps talking about really? it. Tyndall told The Telegraph, We wanted the gold, but to get an Olympic medal is incredible anyway. When you get one of these put round your neck, you realize everything was worth it. Considering that Money Crashers estimates the average annual cost of horse ownership to be nearly $4,000 per horse, as well as the additional cash it takes to train for an equestrian team, there is no doubt that Tyndall's family wealth contributed significantly to her Olympic success. Due to his penchant for hard partying and his repeated issues off the field, Johnny Manziel's NFL career lasted just two seasons. Johnny Manziel's the most exciting football player he's ever seen. But if you're worried that he might die penniless, you should know his parents are absolutely loaded. According to Celebrity Net Worth, 
Paul and Michelle Manziel are reportedly worth a cool $50 million in Texas oil money. While playing for Texas A&M, Manziel drove a Mercedes and scored highly coveted seats at the NBA Finals. When asked by a Twitter user where he was getting all this money from, Manziel replied, quote, "...my family." After Manziel lost out on $2 million after being cut by the Cleveland Browns, he continued to burn through his seemingly bottomless supply of family cash. Per CBS Sports, Manziel was dropping a reported $25,000 per night for a hotel room in Vegas. Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant retired in 2016 after an illustrious 20-year career that included five NBA championships, 18 All-Star appearances, and 33,643 points, besting Michael Jordan. Bryant is considered one of the greatest basketball players to hit the hardwood, but his hoop dreams didn't start in America. They started in Italy when he was six, where his father, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played professionally after retiring from the NBA in 1983. Kobe spent his childhood watching his father play, giving him an early advantage over his peers. The most important thing is, is the game. Can't lose sight of that. It's not what people think of you, right? But it's the game. Kobe went on to create an even greater legacy than his father's. Per Forbes, his career earnings topped $770 million, making him, quote, the highest paid athlete in the history of team sports. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.